Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share a little bit about what might be my tips or my ideas of how to have either painless or pain free or less painful uh, natural birth. So what is my uh, idea or um, so what I've learned so far as a doula and a person who is expecting baby and uh, is uh, gonna welcome the baby next month, I would like to share some of the information and tips that I've learned along the way that I feel it's very beneficial and, and very important for people to know. Uh, because uh, who wouldn't want a beautiful birth, right? Who wouldn't want some experience that is ecstatic and that is so uh, amazing and you're gonna just think about it for a lifetime. I mean, how many times women are pregnant, right? Uh, some might have only one child in a lifetime, One, some might have two, some a little bit more. Um, I'm one of eight, for example. But my mom actually didn't even have um, uh, births without any interventions. She had uh, some, I think, Pitocin, uh, which is very intense drug. Um, but anyways, I'm not going to go into that this, this time. I really would like to share and concentrate on what are the tips to, you know, um, walk into the birth and have... Uh, as beautiful experience as possible. So my tip number one is start practicing relaxation. Relaxation is number one that's the key for painless or you know less painful birth. Um, if we have re some you know like tension in our body we tense up and we're not allowing oxygen to come in into, the, into the body, therefore we're not oxygenating the uterus, and the uterus can get into stress and it can get more painful. So that's number one, relaxation. Uh, try to find any technique that might work for you, uh, whether it's yoga, you know, it's very important of course to do physical practices, so yoga to strengthen your core, strengthen your muscles, you're gonna need those for birth. You know, birth is like a marathon. So it's a pretty intense experience, but when you are prepared for it, you're gonna have way more fun, you know, and, and less painful experience or maybe painless experience. Um, what What is another tip is find what relaxes you and what works for you. For someone it can be meditation, for someone it can be walking nature, for someone it can be just swimming or just you know like taking shower, w being in water, uh, if it's a possibility. It's a great ally for women birthing you know to be in water uh, because the gravity is taking off a lot of tension you know and like water naturally relaxes us, most of us, not everyone. So again, just try to find something that works for you specifically. We're all individuals, we're all very unique, and what works for one person doesn't work for another one. So I'm not gonna tell you this is exactly what's gonna work for you. I'm just telling you that it's really important to know yourself, you know, to really bring the awareness to your body, your needs, what works for you. Um, for example, me, I really love water, so I'm definitely imagining myself being in water, you know, and birthing in water, possibly, if the baby wants it. <laughs> we'll see. Um, another thing is, what's really crucial and important, I see, is facing your fear. Um, there are a lot of fears in us. Uh, don't try to because yourself that you don't have fears. Everyone has fears. Everyone has something that they're dealing with or they're not dealing with. And the more you deal with before birth, the less intensity you're gonna bring with you to the birth. You know, uh, it can be very simple. It's like just seeing some movie that triggered some fear 
uh, about birth because women were screaming and they were in such a horrible pain. So we're imagining that it's just in our imagination. But we have to work with it because our brain doesn't really differentiate between imagination and reality. So, uh, you know, like if you have this image of horrible birthing experience, that might happen again for you. And if you want to avoid it, just try to relax yourself, watch beautiful births. There, there's so many beautiful videos about births. Um, you know, like some women had ecstatic births, like orgasmic births, painless births, very peaceful. Some women are, um, you know, making some noises, but it doesn't mean that they're not enjoying that process and this this beautiful passage that is happening it's a very very big transformation and you want to be ready you want to be prepared why women are asking for drugs and some pain uh, killers um let's say pain management is because they are not willing to look at their fears and to work with those fears because you cannot imagine that you're not doing anything to you know to know how to relax and practice relaxation and come into the birth and have this beautiful magnificent experience that we all want right who wouldn't want to have a beautiful experience but it doesn't come on its own it's not just oh nature is gonna take over we are very powerful you know mind-oriented people uh, the, in this society and we need the brain to have something to feed on so yeah learn some t take some information and watch some videos or read some book i would recommend uh, may maybe like beautiful books are active birth uh, or birthing from within uh, another one that i've well, what i've read was home birth advantage um, i wouldn't recommend books like uh, what can you expect when you're expecting that's mostly fear-based you know, so be selective about what you're bringing in, what information you're taking in, because this information is gonna stay with you, stick with you, it's gonna be like a glue on you when you are coming into the birth. So you wanna be prepared. You wanna know, not like too much information, don't overwhelm yourself, but be selective about what information you're really taking in. Um, another techniques that you can you know try is like some breathing techniques um there there's hypnobirthing uh lamas birth uh breathing there is also uh eft tapping that you can do beforehand not during the birth but i would recommend the eft tapping because that works so well for post-traumatic stresses uh just stress in general it really releases your cortisol which is super important during the birth you don't want to experience any stress um, and stress can be whatever uh, kind of like just rips like pushes some buttons in our cells and again like the more you know yourself the more you can eliminate those uncomfortable um, triggers that can be triggered during the birth if you have experienced some emotional or physical or both abuse that's really important to look at if you don't look at it and if you're trying to pretend that it hasn't happened or you know like that you don't want to deal with it it's gonna come up unfortunately i'm telling you the truth that's gonna come up and it can even stop the birth you know it can you know just kind of like prolong it for a really long time you don't want to have super long birth either if possible so try to process as much as you can because if you don't then you you will face it during the birth and then it might be so intense that you're not going to be able to deal with it and then you're going to ask for the drugs which it's okay you know it's like it's good that it's out there for me it's for an emergency only i know that many women are choosing it because they're not really ready to face those fears and and those uncomfortable feelings within themselves and that's okay um the thing is that we will have to face it at some point in our lives and it's up to us when are we gonna face it you know and the more intensity we're bringing into our life and the more drama we're creating for ourselves the more difficult it is to deal with with the stuff later 
because it's like piling up you know like you're just like stacking it one thing after another and so when you're finally ready to do something about it you're just like unfolding those layers that you've built up so that would be my biggest tips um i really would like you know not just me but all of us who are watching these videos and who are interested in oh uh, you know our our own development and our progress and, and growth to really look at those fears and face them and really transform them as much as we can sometimes it's transformed throughout the birth um, so everyone's journey everyone's path is different and I really hope that this is gonna help some of you <laughs> or all of you who are watching it um, I would like to thank you for watching me and uh, next time I'm just gonna tell you some other tips and tricks that I think might work and they're working for me uh, I really um, am excited about this journey uh, that I'm on and I'm learning so much stuff about myself I'm learning so much about my family my my family history and uh, because I'm allowing it you know and I'm not saying that I'm perfect and I'm gonna have perfect birth but I'm hoping for the best I'm hoping for you know being prepared is gonna be half of the success you know and <clears throat> surrounding myself by great people uh, you know you can think about hiring a doula hiring a midwife whatever works for you I really recommend you to look into information that is gonna be beneficial that's not gonna be fear-based but it's gonna be very positive and it's gonna result in a great um, you know result this is my baby I don't know if you can see it um, I don't know the gender we will find out at the birth so I'm pretty excited it's coming closer it can happen in between next four to six to eight weeks it depends how how long I'm gonna be pregnant I'm 34 weeks pregnant now and I'm looking forward to your comments if you have some experience if you already had a birth and you're dealing with some trauma after it or if you are just uh, inspired by it I really appreciate your comments thank you for watching me and I look forward to see you again bye